Here are the top five reasons I hate San Diego. And stick around for number five because if you're a local, you'll get it. If you are new here, my name is Chris Bain at Keller Williams Realty, and I make all these videos to help you make sense of the real estate market. If you do me a huge favor, please click the subscribe button, also click that little bell, so you can be notified every single time I drop a fresh new video, and if you would share this video with someone you think might find value in it, and if there is something and you are living in San Diego that you hate about San Diego, then drop it in the comments below because I'm always interested to hear what other people think about living in San Diego. Now, one of the number one things I hate about living in San Diego is these roundabouts. If you live in the metro area of San Diego, you know all about these goofy roundabouts that they put in around 2020 in the middle of the pandemic. Now, just check this out. These are supposed to be maintained by the city. They put in all these roundabouts. This is Mead Avenue. They put these in all over San Diego, but yet they don't take care of anything over here so the city has just left it they've also put in all these extra curb spaces over here and the city is not maintaining any of this now i'm not aware that this is the responsibility of the homeowner but this is just one of the classic examples of a big miss in san diego so this has got to be the number one thing that i absolutely cannot stand about living in san diego the next thing that drives me just absolutely crazy about san diego is they took away a ton of parking now i'm over here on louisiana street so there is parking over here but if you go up to park boulevard parking over there is at a massive premium and they took away all the parking up and down park boulevard all up and down 30th street in north park it's just gone they took it away from where all the businesses are now i should rewind a little bit they did put some parking back but the number of parking spaces is about one eighth of the number of spaces that were there previously so parking is a huge premium the other thing that drives me bonkers about san diego and i can't stand it is the fact that we have street sweeping now we have street sweeping on the second and fourth uh monday and tuesday of the week from 10 to 1 but the challenge is those meter maids see we have that up there those meter maids they'll be out here to ticket you but they don't always run the street sweeper through the neighborhood and so the city is giving people tickets when the streets aren't even getting cleaned i mean here is a prime example over here this tree is just the street sweeping was just yesterday and there's still gunk all over the street so if they're doing it they're doing a really bad job and since we're on the topic of roads, let's just continue to talk about those. Now, I live over in University Heights. Our roads are in pretty good condition. Um, but there again, in the city of San Diego, they go and repave multiple streets that have been repaved in the last couple of years. So there's parts of San Diego where the roads are in complete and absolute disrepair. And there's no regard for anything or any of the roads. Some of the roads are so, so bad here that you're gonna get, uh, uh, you're gonna ruin your tires and your brakes and your car by just driving down the street. A prime example of that is as you're heading down Texas Street into Mission Valley, there's a huge pothole down there and you can put it on the Get It Done app and it's still gonna take weeks for it to get fixed. So that's another thing. Oh, and a fun fact, the city's budget just got renewed for July 1st, so we'll see what happens with some of these roads. Let's talk about the big elephant in the room, and that is all the tourists. It is July in San Diego. We just got through the 4th of July. Uh, Gay Pride is coming up in San Diego. So San Diego is a very popular vacation destination, and we have tons of tourists that come to the beach, um, they come to the zoo, they 
uh, will come for Pride, they come for the 4th of July. We get a ton of people in here from Arizona. And um, I defy anyone to fight me on this, but people who come to San Diego from Arizona do not know how to drive. I'm just gonna put it out there that people from Arizona 100% do not know how to drive. You can fight me on this all you want, but I am 100% correct about this. That is just my opinion. So there's a lot of people who come here and they're, they're tourists. So there are a ton of tourists. So that is one thing that you should know about moving to our city is that there are a ton of tourists. Let's talk about the high cost of living. Living in San Diego is not cheap and it is not for the faint at heart. Back in the 90s, you were able to have a minimum wage job, rent an apartment here in San Diego and live on your own. That's just not the case today. The average rent in San Diego, even though rents are going down, is still about 2,300 bucks for a one bedroom. Then you have the median price for a home in San Diego. The price just jumped up to $925,000. That's the median price for a home right now, currently in San Diego. So the, the cost of living here is significantly high. Um, wages definitely do not keep up with that. It was just came out in the San Diego Union Tribune that in order to maintain a decent lifestyle in the city of San Diego, that you have to make about $248,000. Um, that's not to say that it can't be done. Um, I just close escrow with some clients who close escrow on a property over in Fairmont Park for um, $720,000 and we did get a seller credit on that property. So it is 100% possible to find a good house um, in an area that you're gonna really enjoy living in, but you should know that it's definitely not cheap to live here. A gallon of gas, um, I go to Costco, so it's usually about $4.29 a gallon. And truth and transparency, I buy pretty much all my groceries at Costco because it is so much cheaper. Um, and I use a lot, a lot of coupons. So as long as you're in that mindset, living here is not that big of a deal, but you just have to know the cost of living here is very expensive. The dentist down the street, the one that I go to, they charge new patients $59 for their first visit. Um, you could dentist hop if you wanted to do that. I know people that do that. Or they go to Mexico to get dental work done. Um, same thing with veterinary clinics. Um, we take our dogs to Vetco, which we find you know, not to be terribly expensive, um, but we haven't had any major vet bills and we do have pet insurance as well. So yeah, that just know that San Diego is not cheap, um, but uh, you know, it's a great city to live in. All right, here is the fifth and final reason I hate living in San Diego and it's this. Do you see this sky up here? Well, it's not too bad today, but it is quite hazy. But in May and June, there is this real thing called May Gray and June Gloom. Basically, it's the weather outside is warming up and the Pacific Ocean is still cold, so it causes this graying effect that pretty much stays gloomy all day until about three o'clock when the sun decides it's ready to come out. So during the months of May and June, and obviously parts of July, you're experiencing what's called May Gray and June Gloom, and it is just gross out. I mean, it can be hot and muggy with zero sunshine, um, or it can feel like a fall day. This year, um, in May and June, it was very, very cloudy, and it was very, very cool, um, which isn't too bad because I've been complaining about the heat lately. Um, but yeah, you just need to know that May Gray and June Gloom are absolutely a real thing, and that you will find that it is just kind of blah here. So um, if you are sensitive, if your mood is sensitive to what's going on in the environment, then you know, just get ready for that. Well, that's it. Those are my top five reasons why I do not like living here in San Diego. So tell me what you think. Drop them in the comments below. Is there anything that you absolutely hate about San Diego? I would love to hear from you. Also, um, let me know what you want me to talk about. I like making these videos for you all so you know what's going on over here in America's finest city. Someone's mowing their lawn, so I'll say goodbye.